Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am going to show you the progress that I've made on my second project for this arts and crafts challenge. Um, so this is the tree that I made. Uh, you remember I uh, drilled a bunch of holes in this stick and this is what I added was all of this. So I found these really cool beads that I have. I have a ton of them. They're like little shells and they were given to me uh, by uh, a friend who bought them in Hawaii. I actually made a necklace and uh, earrings out of the other set that she gave me. They were uh, green um, and it's absolutely fantastic. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you when uh, uh, I come back uh, with this. So that's what I'm going to do. And then these... This leaf here is actually made out of polymer clay. It's uh, something that I made quite a long time ago and I never really found a use for them. So they, they will probably be used on here. So as you can see, I have done most of the tree. I'm just gonna finish off the top here. Um, I ran out of the uh, yellow uh, seashells. So I'm using the leftover green ones that I had. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it, this has been a, a very long process actually, because I got to put on, I have, I have to put on every shell individually um, because the holes are so strange in them. And then of course, very often I will drop them. <laughs> and uh, so that's, that's not always fun either because they're really tiny and they're really hard to find when you drop them on the floor. I'm sure when I finally uh, sweep this floor after all of this, I will probably find several beads on the floor. So right now I am just going to the top and then I am going to hang some colorful, playful beads on the ends. These are like I say, these are all beads that I've had for years and years and years. I used to do a fair amount of jewelry and, and whatnot. And I'll actually show you the necklace that I made out of the green ones. Um, it was one of my favorites, actually. I just, you have to kind of have the right outfit to wear it, but it is still one that I quite like. Okay, I think that's good. Now I'm going to hang my, hang my little beads here. My colorful beads. And they are all different colors as well. So that's kind of fun. I decided not to use the uh, little green leaves that I made out of polymer clay a long time ago because I didn't like the color with it. So. All right, can you still see what I'm doing there? And then I'm just going to curl up the ends of each of these so that nothing falls off. <coughs> and then uh, I think after this, uh, what I will do is um, start uh, creating some kind of little characters to add to the scene. Uh, plus, I got to figure out how to attach my tree so that it doesn't fall off. I think this uh, little tree is quite playful looking. Um, so you can see in between them all, I've put like um, little round gold rings and then in between the gold rings, I put a bead to add uh, some color. Um, my favorite ones of course are these ones here because they're a lot closer to the color of the actual tree. But, um, and there we have my tree. I am actually quite pleased with it. I just have to do a little bit of shaping maybe. Just to, uh, there we go. 
in the shaping, but it's kind of a cute tree. And so it will now go on my thing right here. Like I say, I just have to figure out how to uh, attach it. Um, probably just put a hole, uh, drill a bit of a hole in the bottom of the uh, post and then uh, screw something through the base so that it's, and glue it as well so that it stays pretty sturdy. Uh, but we'll see what happens there. Anyway, that I will do in a minute. I'm just going to show you the necklace that I made out of these uh, beads. It's just a really, really fun necklace. There's the ends right there in your clasp. And then I had this uh, coral star as well. So when I'm just going to move this over. And here I am wearing red, so green's going to go nice with it. And there is what it looks like. I made earrings to go with it as well, but, uh, and it looks way better on a bare neck with like a sundress or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah. I really like this one. Oops. Okay, so next I am going to do, uh, like I say, the critters or creatures or whatever on uh, my little stand. I might change a few colors on there as well. Um, I've decided I'm not totally crazy about the black stairs anymore. I want them to have a little more color, so I might add color to each stair tread before I put uh, any kind of uh, creature on them. Um, I also have these uh, snail shells that um, I have kept and I wanted to do something out of, but these are really, these are really cool because they're just really nice snail shells and I'm thinking I might try and do something with these as well. Maybe make uh, something clay out of them. I'm not too sure yet. But uh, until next time, um, oh, wait a minute. I have one more thing. Uh, my saying that I forgot to do on the last one, the saying for this one is, creativity is contagious. Pass it on. And yes, I agree. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. It's the most wonderful thing to just keep your imagination going um, or like I say for me it's kind of a cathartic thing I like it just sort of makes me relax puts me in this nice happy place that I love so much so for all of you artists and crafters out there don't forget to do um, a project using only what you have in your craft room right now don't go out and buy anything just create something have fun with it and that's it Goodbye for now and have fun.